going on guys? Steve Pulaski back with another review, this time in the car, so you know it's serious. Today we're talking about The Space Between Us. This was a movie that was supposed to come out way back in July of 2016. Then I think it was supposed to come out around the Christmas holiday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 2016. And now it's finally out in theaters in the dumping ground of February on what is like the second, of, the second consecutive slowest week in, uh, of, in American cinema this year. Can't believe it. Anyway, Space Between Us. Uh, it's, also, it's also a good reason to celebrate because we officially have the worst movie of 2017. Okay, this is a... Uh, an awful film and it's uh it's a strangely awful film too it's not the awful film that offends you as you're watching it okay it's the awful movie that like bores you when you're watching it and you come out of it with nothing this is a movie starring asa butterfield as you probably remember from hugo very good movie uh miss peregrine's uh, home for peculiar children not such a good movie and uh brit robinson but basically uh asa butterfield uh, plays a character named Gardner, and he's born on Mars. His uh, during this uh, sp space exploration trip, where these uh, several astronauts go to Mars, uh, the, his mother winds up giving birth to him and then dying in childbirth. So she winds up giving birth in this big spaceship um, and dies. Like I said, so then. The kid spends his 16 years growing up on Mars until he finally gets the chance to go travel to Earth. And he's been talking a lot of this time, too, with this girl, uh, this girl from Earth, played by Britt Robertson. Her name's Tulsa. You can already see by the names, what kind of, the characters, what kind of movie this is. But he talks with her online, and then he finally goes to Earth to meet her. And the whole, and the whole movie is basically their relationship and how it's formed, because she doesn't really believe that he's from Mars. She kind of thinks that he's making things up. Uh, meanwhile, his uh, organs aren't meant to sustain Earth's gravity because he's lived on Mars his entire life. So the whole movie is kind of him, like, you know, racing against this, like, ticking time clock or whatever of, you know, his life on Earth, coupled with the fact that he's trying to make the most of, um, he's trying to make the most of his time with Tulsa. So, um, every time I do these video reviews in the car, always somebody has to pull up next to me. There's 35,000 other spots, but they always come up next to me. Good Lord. Anyway, though, uh, The Space Between Us, I mean, it's, this is a very strange film. It's a very odd movie too at least in the way that it's conducted it feels like a soap opera it's got that like um I, I'm only reminded of Andrew Nichols the movie The Host where it's like it's another young adult movie but everything is just so unnatural and feels so artificial and not to mention you have a great premise of a kid who lives his life on Mars and then he comes back to Earth to have the most flaccid and unremarkable uh relationship known to man and then they, they talk all the, all the time about stuff like well, you know people don't say what's on their mind you know we hide our feelings because then if we set our feelings we could be happy it's a very profound movie as I'm sure you can tell uh, there's not a ton to say about it uh, it's visually pretty good for a medium budget young adult movie but narratively it, it is it is borderline atrocious I give the space between us one and a half out of four stars uh, D rating on influx magazine I'm Steve Pulaski you can read my review link below in the YouTube video or on influxmagazine.com thank you guys for watching and for subscribing I'll see you in the next video review. Bye.